Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this card here that you can see on the screen today for you using the adorable Spring Meadow stamp set. Look at all of these wonderful images and sentiments that are part of this adorable set. There's a coordinating die set that has a die for absolutely every image and sentiment that's part of this set. There's also a coordinating stencil set for coloring in all of these images. And there's also this really cute hot foil plate with dye that really coordinates nicely with this set as well. So it says, hey there, love bug for the hot foil plate. And then there you can see on the right, a coordinating dye that die cuts out each of those four words in one pass. So here you can see I foiled that sentiment here onto my white cardstock. Now I've die cut that out with that die and we've got those four words for the sentiment for the project. Now I'm going to work through the stenciling of the images that I've stamped here in black ink and there's a few different ways that you can do this. You could actually choose your colors and then stencil one color, whatever color it is. So let's say pink on each of the four layers and then switch your color to yellow and do all of the yellow stenciling on all four of the different stencil layers and so on and so forth. I didn't, chose, I didn't choose to do it that way. What I decided to do is stencil all of the images that are on that one stencil for all of the colors. So I used Aquamarine Bubblegum Marigold and Lemon Whip from Pink Fresh and Simon Says Stamp Sparrow. So I did all of the openings on stencil layer number one using all of those colors, stencil layer number two, all of those uh, different colors and so on and so forth. So that by the time I was done stencil number four, I'd used all of the different colors. So it's really just whatever your preference is. It takes about the same amount of time, I think. And it's just a really, really easy uh, way to color in your images. I love stencils that allow you to color up detailed images like this. Um, it really saves a lot of time as opposed to using your markers or your color pencils or whatever it is that you want to use. I am a huge fan of ink blending through stencils to color up images. So I just wanted to do something really fun and whis whimsical with these different images. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using <clears throat> a combination of pink and orange for that snail. Lots of yellows, lots of that aquamarine color mixed in oranges, pinks, all of the different colors that I mentioned there from that, those different color families from Pink Fresh. And then the sparrow, I just used a little bit of that on the little bees that are part of the imagery here. So really, really super sweet. And I have sped up most of this and <clears throat> I don't think I show you all of the ink blending. Maybe I do. I kind of forget what I edited out and what I kept in with the video. But you can just see here that I'm just working through these different stencils, finding the openings. So, um, and again, you can mix this up however you want. If you, you know, you want to vary the color scheme even more than I have here, but it's just really, really fun. And you can see that I've chosen a smaller blending brush for all of these different areas because the the openings for all of these different stencils are very small. The images are tiny for these different stamps. And uh, yeah, you can just see that I'm just taking the time to line these up and you can just shift the stencil around as you need to so that you end up with the openings all lined up and then you can just go in with your different colors of ink and get those colorized. So I really wanted pinks and yellows for my flowers and I love that color combination. You can see the center of my dragonfly here is that aquamarine color. And again, just going back through the different stencils and making sure that I have all of the different little bits colored in for each of these different images that I have here for my project. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of that uh, kind of a uh, lighter yellow for the florals here and the bee and just going to finish things up. And of course, I do the, the clockwise counterclockwise brush motion with my little blending brush here just to fill in all of those different areas. 
Okay, so once the ink blending was all done, I took the coordinating dies and die cut out all of those different images and set them aside. And then I took a card front and I used the Daisy Field 3D embossing folder to create some texture for my card front. And I absolutely love that embossing folder. You can just see there how gorgeous the detail is with that 3D embossing folder. It is just absolutely stunning. The perfect way to add some really great texture and interest to your card. I'm going to be doing an A2 size top folding landscape card base here. And I have sized down my card front, this embossed piece by a quarter of an inch. And so you can just see there's just a tiny little white margin around the edge of this 3D embossed card front here. I'm just adhering that to my card base flat using my Honey Bee liquid adhesive. And I'll just give that a nice press. Once that's all well adhered, I'll be ready to start to add my die cut pieces onto my card front. <clears throat> and of course, all of those gorgeous ink blended images that you saw me ink blend with that stencil are going to be the gorgeous details for my card front here. So really love this. And I love the different images that are part of that stamp set and how they coordinate with that love bug. Hey there, love bug sentiment. And I'm just going to add these flat onto my card front here with my honeybee liquid adhesive. And you'll just see me adding those down. And then I'll create some, create some layers with the other die cut pieces by overlaying them over top of these pieces that are flat to my card front. So I'm just going to give those a really good press and make sure that those are adhered to that embossed piece underneath. And once I'm ready to move on here, you can just see I've got my hot foiled sentiment ready to go. I'm going to add some foam adhesive to each one of those different words. And in that way, just add a little bit of dimension. Now, I don't know if I mentioned what hot foil I used for this project. I used the Spellbinders set that had four rolls in it. And it was a set that has the Fuchsia Flower, Moon Dust, Speckled Aura, and Prism. And this is the one that kind of has the aqua color to it. And is it the Moon Dust, maybe? I'm not sure, but... I really love it. It's really pretty and it's kind of like an iridescent aqua color here you can see. Just really, really pretty and it looks more shiny on camera than it actually is and it's just because of my overhead lights but it is a really pretty foil and the Honey Bee Stamps hot foil plates work beautifully with the Spellbinders foil. Um, I've used uh, the Honey Bee's hot foil plates with a few different brands of foil but this one specifically is the Spellbinders and it works really, really well. So there you can see how this foam adhesive is just adding that bit of dimension to the sentiment, popping it up off of that 3D embossed card front there. And I'm just using my tweezers just to help me place these. I wanted that hay there across the top and then love kind of centered and then bug over to the side. And then I'm just going to use some of that white space to add those little die cut bugs in that have been ink blended with that stencil set. So here's that sweet little cal cat uh, snail, sorry, not caterpillar. I really wanted this little snail to be front and center on this project just because I think it's really, really adorable. Not that I'm a, a huge fan of snails, but this snail happens to be very cute. And I like how the colors work with the florals there as well. And I'm going to put this little worm or caterpillar on the other side here, trying to add all of these different bugs with some foam adhesive to give them a little more lift and dimension as well. So that little dragonfly is going to be added into that white space there over to the right of the word love. And as I said, I really wanted to be mindful of this white space and think of how I could use these sweet little bugs to add detail to those spaces. I really wanted to add a little insect to the center of the O in love. So this little bee is perfect for that. And I'm actually not going to use all of the insects that are part of the, the uh, spring meadow set. I'm actually going to put a few extras back into the stamp set into the packaging for another project. And there's that sweet little tiny butterfly that'll go up there to the top left. And I think that's all the bugs that I decided to add to the project. Now I wanted to add a little more sparkle and shine. 
And what I'm going to do is just go in with my sparkle pen here and just add a little bit of sparkle and shine to a few areas, not everything, just a few little spots that are just going to catch the light and add that little bit of extra glimmer to my project. And this is just really an easy step when you're finishing up your card that I think really adds that little bit of extra nice detail to a project and it only takes a few seconds. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white gel pen to my project as well, just to add a few little highlights here and there, some little dots, some little dashes. And that, like I said, just adds that little bit of extra zip to the project, that little bit of detail that catches your eye when you look at it. You might not even realize that you're seeing these little um, areas that have this little bit of detail but they do really add, I think, to the project when it's all finished. So just a few little highlights here and there to finish up. And that is going to basically finish off my project today. Thank you so much for watching throughout this project. And I have linked up to all of the different things that I've used from Honeybee Stamps in the description box below. So make sure you check out those links if you want to shop for any of the latest release, which has been absolutely glorious to create with. And hopefully it's uh, the videos that you've been watching by the team on the Honeybee YouTube channel have inspired you to create some projects of your own. Thanks again, friends, so much for joining me today. Have an amazing day and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.